Produkt. Yeah. Learn Super German. Produkt. Jed Wetter. Do you think you can say das Beste oder nichts here? BMW, that means BMW in English, same thing. <laughs> you know. I hope so. Attention. Say that. Let's see what this crazy guy is doing. Ah, he's cleaning. He doesn't even know I'm here. <laughs> yeah, you're doing full rebuild or what? Yeah, right. Full rebuild, full refurbish. Full refurbish of the car. That's awesome. Good stuff. Smells good too. What are you using? Oh, that thing? Glass cleaner. Gotcha. Amazing. Just like that. You guys have seen this car on my channel we might go for a, a little cruise here shortly with this car and my baby Benz oh yeah we have to go help our buddy out over here buddy? Uh, yeah he's over there trying to like pull the intake manifold of the car he's doing that right now yeah All right. he was asking for help so hurry up clean your know. thing Nah, it's uh, behind that other building. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm really grateful for this nice weather, huh? Awesome. Hey, didn't you read the instructions? It said it's just for the glass, bro. You can't use it on the dash. It's against the law. It's against the law. It's against the policy of that thing. The of that cleaner, house. huh? <laughs> Be like, uh, I'm returning this. Didn't work, you know, on my dashboard. Did, didn't clean my plastic. <laughs> Yeah, I think that car is longer than my S class. Let's see, where's he at? He's not inside. Uh, what's going on? I gotta call him, see where this crazy guy is at. Well, so his starter went out, and right now he removed the intake mouth. He said he can't like take it out and stuff. It's not good. He should have covered all those intake ports. Well, you gotta use the car, we got, uh, yeah, we're waiting uh, for him to come back. He'll be back shortly, so we need to figure it out. But uh, this car has a no crank, no start condition. So he asked me for help to just, because he wasn't able to like take out the intake manifold. So we'll try to do that for him so he can get to the starter. And it's probably the starter that's bad. It's a pretty common issue on these cars. Unless it's something else like ignition switch or whatever else uh, in the starting circuit of this car. Yeah, learn Super German. Product. Jed Wetter. Do you think you can say das beste oder nichts here? Let's put it das beste oder nichts on the BMW. Yeah. Das That's pretty awesome, huh? They have it in German. Well, there's German, there's English, there's translation, you know what I mean? There you go. BMW, that means BMW in English, same thing. <laughs> you know. I hope so. Attention, say that. Attention, don't touch hot oil. <laughs> Nectars. Yeah, no, I haven't taken no. nothing out. And I have a feeling that you're gonna have to remove or take, put this, you know, kind of like slide this wiring out of the way. This one? You can't take that off? Mm. What do you mean, you should be able to. I don't have that so, Always a solution to a problem, bro. What's holding it? It's got the rivets or clips right there. Yeah, no, I don't have that. Uh, I put a bad. Uh, you gotta make sure those numbers are uh, horizontal. You know what I mean? You're horizontal. Because <laughs> I put a bad uh, brake wear sensor in. <coughs> what do you mean? I, I, haven't, used, I used the old brake wear sensor. Thinking, and what happened? Thinking it would still work. The light's still there. Why don't you get a new one? New sensor is like three dollars. And that was that was when I told you I uh I did like one hour worth of work, but they they clocked it at like three hours and almost thirty minutes. Oh wow, really? Yeah. I would have disputed it's a scam. that. Scam. And they sit there and try to talk to me the whole time. <laughs> like, what the fuck? About what? Just trying to get conversation so they could make me want to stay longer. For the tire. Or then I had to change something on the tire machine. So there's that arm right there on the tire machine and it was metal. 
and I wanted to put the plastic one on there. It's like, hey, like, do you have like any tools to? Like, I gotta remove these bolts, you know, because there was like special like like a spline socket you had to use. He's like, um, I don't know anything, but uh, you know, I've never I've never taken anything apart on the tire machine. But if you know how to, go ahead. You know, say no more. I started taking apart the tire machine completely. No, not completely. <laughs> just changed that arm to a plastic one. Oh, this thing is getting on my nerves. As soon as I said that, this thing came out, bro. Did it really? Yeah, look at this thing. Wow. Look right just, here. Look right here. It's you're crazy. just that good. I'm just that good. You see these two? They came out. It's scared of you. <laughs> Better be. <clears throat> Is here, man. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, man, they gotta undo these connectors. I think these are for injectors or spark plugs, something. I don't know. Hey, uh, I recommend for you to take a picture how this connector goes through right here, just so you remember. This. It's like this, like that, like this. Wow, those ports look clean. This is why I love port fuel injection. Those ports are always clean. Direct injection is like the worst thing. Oh well, no. One part is this bottom part. the throttle body out now it can get easier access to all this stuff almost ready to pull this out just gotta undo this connector or this bundle right there that was a struggler before i don't know yeah if you talk to it maybe it will come on, come on you oh, oh boy <laughs> come on give it up give it up <laughs> yeah tell to give it up <laughs> like hey baby I do so much for you just give it up this one time oh yeah what did you say that's too early yeah <laughs> yeah why why did you jinx it? <laughs> You know, removing the intake manifold on this thing, it's like removing the engine out of a car. Before you pull it, you gotta check. You gotta check all the connectors. There you go. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. Yay! Yeah. All that stuff. Which took a hundred hours, you know, to do, just to uh, remove it. All right, put it in a safe spot. See that? All these connectors. That's the starter, but it looks like the starter has been replaced before. But I guess she's having issues with it again. And then we gotta put this back onto these intake ports. Just so it doesn't get anything in there. That's it. Look at that. This is what we found under the intake manifold. So somebody has been here before. Yeah. So now, I mean, it would be a good idea to check if you're getting power to the starter. You know what I mean? Like before you actually say that it's a bad starter. 
or you can just jump it. We can just jump it right now really quick and see if it works if you want. You guys want to learn something or what? Something. Oh, That's the starter that we just take took off. Hold it, keep holding it, yeah. I mean, it's turning, but the thing is that like, maybe something is messed up right here. You know, I don't know. I mean, the best thing would be to bench test it right now or with like a battery Where cables and stuff. So, or you could just, look, you could just install a new starter right now and then just like reconnect the battery. No, this is fine. Reconnect the battery and then just see if it cranks, you know? Will it hurt anything up here? No, it'll be fine. We're just gonna crank it a little bit and that's fine. You think it's a 12 millimeter? Or it's 11 or what? The starter is in. You failed. Oh yeah, it's not? I'm just playing. <laughs> what did you have? I had 12. Oh, Damn. so that's 13 probably. I'm not that good this time. You are good. <laughs> oh, so that goes to some other connector, huh? It's probably right here. Yeah, it's gotta be right there, connected. All right, let's make sure that everything here is clear. Nothing gets sucked in. This up. Okay. Let's go. Uh, connect the battery, yep. Well, he's uh, installing the battery now. And you know, you gotta do it this way because you can't open the trunk right now, the trunk lid, tailgate. It's got a big battery. Hey, is that battery charged or you need a jump? No, that battery's brand new. Okay, brand new, so that's good. BMW, <laughs> look at that valve cover or the engine cover. Everything is right here. This thing has a spare too? A spare tire? Spare tires under here. Oh, under here, huh? Nice. Yeah, you're good there. Plus first. Okay. Shoo! See that spark, bro? That was strong. Good thing we didn't have fuel source right there. All right, well, let's double check. Make sure this area is all clear. Okay, this is all connected. Okay, let's make sure nothing is there. Go ahead. Mm hmm. You stop lights on or no? Uh -uh. Nothing is on? So maybe because, is the battery good for sure? Well, the battery wasn't tight enough. So yeah, we tightened the clamps or the, yeah, battery <gasps> terminals. Yeah, 99,000, huh? That's cool. Well, I'll give it a slight crank. All right, stop, stop, stop. Shut it off. Okay, good, that's it. Nice. Boys want to drink? Uh, we don't drink, bro. But you know, we could use some, you know, parts or something. You know what I mean? Uh, if you were to give it to us, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, at least we know that the starter was bad, the old starter. So she started up now. Mm -hmm. So now it's gonna be a process of putting out everything back, which will be super fun i don't know who's gonna do that but somebody will have to i guess <laughs> unless you want to drive around with uh no intake manifold you know it's probably gonna go <laughs> i mean it started up <laughs> Homemade, uh, well, it's probably gonna have no throttle response or anything you know <laughs> you're just gonna have to put like like a, each air like small air filter over like this you know each port yeah. and stuff so you know well, no dirt <laughs> yeah <laughs> weight reduction you oh. know Intake manifold takes up a lot of, you know, space and it's so heavy. That's crazy. Let's hear this machine. After the starter replacement, you need to fix that squeaky door too. WD-40. Yeah, <laughs> it's always everything. number one. Let's make sure she's good. After the, we'll put everything back.
free ride. Hey, she's alive. What's she's up? Alive. <laughs> What's up? Everything good. It's working. Hell yeah. There you go, man. Yeah, just let it run right now. Let it stabilize after a while. <laughs> I feel for you. <laughs> I have both my vehicles dead. Oh, yeah. Both of these engines. <laughs> nice stuff, man.